What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and of course we are back with more Four Seas action. This time we are going to be on Soul's account here on the live stream. We went through, did a bunch of different setups, we tried to not use our Sword Flash Shia or our Transcendence uh, Scarlet Queen uh, Halora, just to make sure it was kind of a, a more... I mean, okay, yes, we use a lot of pay-to-win artifacts. But we try to make it less pay-to-win in a way to see what type of matchups there will be. One thing is there are times when you will absolutely destroy teams that have Rogan and Russells on them. Other times, the Russells, if they're void-enabled, they will still destroy your team. So it's a really interesting meta we're in. I'm really interested to see where it goes because if, if a fully void-enabled Russell can counter a fully void-enabled Forces. Does that really mean Forces is doing their job that we want them to do? I don't know. We'll have to see. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time. So we do have a uh, Forces here on Soul's account right now. Ooh, a Magic Stone Sword. Soul, did you know I wanted to work on that one? Cause, cause that I, I like that. That is a really cool artifact that I've been wa I've been wanting to find a hero to actually use it. And funny enough, on the free-to-play account, if I do build an Inosuke, I kind of want to go for Magic Stone Swords and see how he is with it. But, yeah. So, it looks like we are... I want to swap him up for Speed Enables. I want to do that. Void Imprinting, we got a lot. Ooh, Speed. I want more Speed. Just for the testing. I'm putting a couple points into speed. Um, yeah, but I like that. I think we're going to run a full setup mainly because I want to make sure I have the speed from the boost too. Speed is at 1843. That's pretty solid. Now, what do you guys want to see for a team lineup? Do you want to see me using Queen and Sword Flash? Or do you guys want me to just say, nah, -uh, we're not doing that. We're going to try to build a team without Transcendence Heroes that can win. Swap bait is locked since my meta is double locked. I mean... Lock is really strong in this upcoming meta. So what I kind of want to do is I want to run like four C's, a couple carries, a couple Sherlock's, and like a Ticks is my idea. Of course, we're going to stay away from the Russells and the Rogans right now because, you know, anyway, we could test that on our account. So I'm thinking we do something like that. So let's take a look at the pennies. Let's see. Do any of the... Or not the pennies. Why? I read pennies in chat. What am I doing? So we have like... Bottom tier speed. So, you cool if I start like kind of destroying the way your heroes are set up? Are you cool resetting them up the way they need to be? <laughs> I want to see what all the artifacts are on this account. Antlers cane. We got a candy bar. We got ooh. So, Demon Bell is really interesting, guys. Demon Bell actually procs as a buff when uh, when Forces has the the imminent doom on your target. That actually procs it as a buff. Man, you got two of those too. Nice. Um, that's really good. That's really good. Yep, I like that. I like that. I think we're gonna use this ticks right here. Um, I don't think we care about speed right here on him, so I'm fine with that. He is only a V zero, but I think that's good. I think that's fine. Um, any other artifacts I want to look at? Let me take a look at your transcendent. So what do we got up here? We got a glittery and a splendid. Man, where's your Augustus? I, I mean, I guess, I guess, I guess we could use Augustus Magic Ball. So what I'm going to do, Soul, is I'm stealing these right here. And I'm going to use them on the carries because I want super fast carries for this testing. Does this skin... Okay, so you got the speed skin here. So what we're going to do is throw that on there. Speed attack is perfect. Enables look good. Second carry enables look good. Stone looks good. And let's give this one the other A and B. I don't think I want to use... I mean, it's cool that you have the Snow's Heart. Are you going to actually go for the second one? Are you buying out the event soul? I don't know. I don't know if it's really worth it. Because it almost seems like speed isn't going to be as much of an issue with Rogan's leaving the meta. But, yeah. Then, of course, we're going to run the two Sherlock's. I almost want to run an Ignis instead of a Tix. But we're going to start out and try a Tix. Probably a bad idea using this, but... Yeah, it's, it's too much. I definitely agree. All right, so let's try to find some transcendent style lineups. 
Actually, you know, Jay-Z. Yeah, let's go after the good old Jay-Z. So let's clear this out. Let's go with a couple carries in the front row, four Cs. Let's grab a Sherlock Sherlock. I think I want to do something. Actually, you know what? I kind of want to do that. Um, Is this pet leveled up? I should have looked at the pets first. Hold on. What monsters? That one's leveled up fine. Deer is a max, I imagine. Griffin max? Yep, Griffin's maxed. Dragon is maxed as well. What's up, Badfish? What's going on, man? Is this one maxed yet? Ooh, I think I want to use this one. I don't know why the fox is like my favorite pet right now. The energy is just, it feels so good on heroes. Like four Cs and, oh, it's just it's so, so good. All right, so let's get you guys there. Throw in the ticks. Throw in horses and a couple carries something like that let's do this and then i'm going to run the fox even though it's not 180 still get all the important stuff just for merry christmas to you too man hopefully everybody here had a really good christmas uh, i'm gonna be kind of ignoring chat a little bit just so you guys know but i'll t try to take a look so hey teddy what's up we'll get to your account here in a little bit get some tower done but let's go let's see how this works against transcendence heroes Let's just see. They do have a Russell and a Rogan, so there is a chance. God, that active is ridiculous. Ooh, man, Forcey's is getting beat up. I don't think he's actually going to make it to an active. And that's the one thing. I know a lot of people have started using Forcey's with a uh, with a Demon Bell or something like that, just because that situation right there. He's very. He can be very weak. He just get knocked out. So Rogan is basically out of the meta in regular arena. Potentially, yeah. Potentially. All right, I mean, it's, so long as Sherlock's are alive, there's some hope, guys. <laughs> I know this was supposed to be about forces, but, I mean, we got carries and we got a Sherlock. So, yeah, never mind. It's, it's out. It's out. <laughs> Let's run it back. Let's see if we can win, though. I do think in the current meta that is so fast, if your forces isn't going first... He like really needs energy. I wanted to try to see if Magic Stone Sword would work on him at all, but I just don't think it's going to be the pick for him. If anything, maybe A and B is going to be the pick just for those pings right there. Yeah, because we're using Sherlock's right now, which they're, they're great and all, but they're not going to do what we need. I wish this could work. I really do, but I just don't think it's going to. I think what I want to do is put this over here and then we'll let this carry be a little bit slower. That way we're alternating between our carries there as far as speed goes. I wanna keep running back this team though to see what type of difference uh, a splendid A and B does on him. It does mean he's a lot faster as well, but this is gonna make it I think so that uh, he outspeeds Russell plus he's going to get the active off guaranteed, which hopefully means he starts melting people immediately at the end of this round. And with the Sherlock's and the carries, it kind of gives you that long sustain so that if the Imminent Doom doesn't proc right away, it eventually will. And then you'll be able to overpower them with the tanky Sherlock's, the super tanky, well, not even tanky carries, but the, the survivability carries. And it makes such a difference. Smiley says, which would you get, Antlers or Candy Bar? I don't have pay to win artifacts. Uh, I would definitely get Antlers Cane. It's, it's the better one out of the two. And yeah, you see the difference of giving... Forces like a proper setup. The difference in artifacts on a hero like Forces is really, really important. As cool as Magic Stone Sword is, in the current meta, I don't know how well it's going to work. Look at that damage. Queen's still kind of rocking it, but to be able to beat teams that have Transcendence Heroes without Transcendence Heroes is the big benefit right here. And I do think you need to have some sort of speed artifact on your Forces if you're not running a uh whatchamacallit if you're not running a energy artifact why don't they give good pay to win artifacts for free they also throw low artifacts i mean it's still a good artifact still good i'm ready for queen to die please queen please die not quite because rogan was <laughs> cc'd okay What is the best stone and artifact besides Rui for Sherlock? Um, if you're gonna run Sherlock without a Rui, you're gonna want to go with a tanky artifact. Man, they killed it, but the sustainability on this team is just 
Crazy good. I really do like this lineup though. Who else has transcendence over here? I'm guessing the people with the champion borders, but no. You see that? Like it's already shifted. There's already carries and Sherlock's everywhere due to forces. Oh, here's one. We can go against the Shia. She is really tough for forces to beat though. I just finished with my ticks. Is it better than Garuda for PvP? Um, it depends on what your whole team is. Tix can be better, but he can also be worse than Garuda. It just really depends on your team composition overall. All right, we got the Imminent Dooms out on the top three. Rogan should die at the end of round. Actually, all of those are going to die end of round. <laughs> That's not bad whatsoever. Give me some energy. So we get another active on four season. Right there is why I love the Fox pet so much because it's like an ignis on a pet which you don't have to worry about the the positioning the time that they die it's like you just keep getting more and more energy which is nice now sadly the imminent doom is not going to go on that sword flash but i think we got this because a sword flash is never going to get an active off with these carries i don't think it's gonna be very low chance if they actually do and then right here active yep perfect perfect that's what i like to see so one thing that you do have to know is if your server is getting a ton of forces, like if you see every team with the forces, number one, you have to figure out, is that forces void enabled? If they're not, they're not very strong, but if you do have a forces on the other team and they are investing their stellar shards into the void imprints for him, he will be very strong and you will have to remove heroes like Drake or not Drake, like Rogan and Russell from your team. Otherwise, they are essentially just dead round one unless you have some sort of counter to uh, either a round one active from the forces or a very tanky forces getting a guaranteed active in round two. What that means is two of the most annoying heroes and probably one of my least favorite metas we've ever had in the game is the mass carry and Sherlock meta will be coming back. Because Sherlock is such a hard counter to Forces. Like, such a hard counter. It's so hard for Forces to kill Sherlock. Because, again, Sherlock doesn't really have any buffs. And if you're not using Rogans, you're fine. Again, look at all these imminent dooms here. Yeah, it's perfect. Now, oh, Teddy, you finally get your second scary to E5. Nice, man. And then, of course, just the doves are probably beyond one of the most annoying. <laughs> Besides carries infinite resurrecting active energy drain the second most annoying thing ever in the game has to be sherlock doves that last forever uh, i think we can do this it's gonna be really close though eh, don't die don't die don't don't die. no 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 don't die oh you're gonna die <laughs> we really need our sherlock back up here can, can you guys oh man all right we lose this one i guess is Forces also good with 3-star A and B or best with energy? I We're running this one right here with um with A and B for more survivability so he lives longer. I would say uh, most people would probably be better off just throwing a Demon Bell or something on him because it's a lot easier. It's a lower ceiling to get into it. Um, we might have a lot of people die here. The one thing that I have noticed as well, Forces is not that great against Sword Flash. You really need to make sure Sword Flash gets the Imminent Doom under her feet round one or two from the Forces before the other heroes because you need Rogan to buff that Shia, that Sword Flash, to kill her. Forces is icky. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the hero, but you, you have to admit Forces is going to change the PvP meta. Whether for good or bad, I don't know. In my opinion, I think it's going to go for the bad because. Who here actually enjoys the mass carry Sherlock meta? Like, infinitely tanky heroes, infinite resurrections. It just, it feels bad. And see, this is why Sword Flash is very hard for Forces to defeat as well. The so Sword Flash will probably stay in the meta. So people who have very whaleish accounts like this, you're going to probably see, like, Sword Flash, double Sherlock, double carry, plus, like, maybe even their own Forces to counter other waves, so... It's it's really, really interesting what is going to be happening in the meta coming up here. Uh, if you really want to see a team melt, we can show you something like this. This is pretty much what this team is made to defeat right here. Top people on server are Loki, Gold, and Raizu. Okay, I'll take a look at them. 
Yeah, it seems like that Tix just isn't doing anything for us anyway. I think I might substitute him out for another carry and go full degen. Full on degen. This is, yeah, so many people are going to die from these Rogan buffs. <laughs> I think another carry, honestly, might be the best option here. And I think would be one of the stronger teams right now. Granted, I feel like throwing our own Sword Flash in would probably be the most beneficial. Because we are kind of using a little bit weaker of a setup. But, yeah. All right, give me my carry back, please. That would be nice. Oh, no, there's Sherlock. We might lose. I don't know. Can two carries beat a carry and a Sherlock? I don't know. Can we not be doved, please? That would be amazing. Oh, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Okay, all right. We got this. Come on. You carry. Carry right here. Just snipe. Snipe. Oh, see, they, these are the fights that I don't miss. Are these 15 plus where carries are the main damage from their death? Like, it's just so random. It's like, okay, let's roll the dice. Is my carry going to win or is their carry going to win? So, I don't know. Honestly, if I had to against that team right there, I would probably drop. Wait, where'd it go? Was it up the top? Yeah, there. No. Yep, there it is. So what I would do is honestly, the ticks, in my opinion, is kind of useless to us. Oh, I was using the, using the wrong carry. That's why. Whoops. <laughs> that could explain a lot of it right there. Barry doing Barry things right there, don't you think? <laughs> will your main struggle from four C's? Uh, not really, because I will have a sword flash lineup that should be able to take care of it, no problem. It's just we won't be using Rogan in that main lineup anymore. The main Queen Sword Flash lineup will not have Rogans anymore. They'll have other heroes. And then, like, for IDA and stuff like that, my secondary lineups will be the, the Rogans and the Russells together. So I have two full Rogan-Russell lineups. But, I mean, yeah, just adding an extra carry in instead of that ticks feels like it makes a big difference here. Can we kill? No, we can't kill there. Really? Really? You gonna do me like that? I might die here. Maybe, maybe not. Don't die. Don't die. No, no, no. Oh, we died again. We died again. Triple carry, double lock on this fight will take time. Yeah. And that's the one thing I think I hated the most about this style of team right here is uh, just feels really bad overall. I don't know. It's weird. Oh, wow. So one thing that's interesting is having Dazzle on the four C's really sucks because that imminent doom only hits one target interesting i am canadian says i'm kind of new to the game and just built my first e5 it was unimax what are your thoughts uh unimax isn't the best one to do for e5 but try to go and watch my video of best first e5 heroes to build because that'll kind of help you figure out what hero you need to build to move forward artifact suggestion for so four c's um Honestly, I think energy is better. So what we're going to do here now, uh, I, I kind of don't want, I, I want an energy artifact. HP, control immunity, energy. I think that's fine for him. Then we're going to come over here and throw on like, uh, what you want to call it? Who's that? Nino with that prime. Thank you so much, man. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, let's just throw that over there and just see how the difference is with that. Oh, wait, was it? No, it wasn't Jay-Z. It was the next one, right? Yeah, there we go. Same fight. Let's go. Changing him up to energy instead to see what he does with the energy. That way we get the imminent dooms out. Oh, that's going to be a lot of damage hitting that Sherlock right away. I mean, you can see the difference instantly, right? I personally like energy better, but he will be an extremely squishy hero. He will die really fast, but you need to try to snipe the heroes that you want to prevent from getting those big damage numbers in round two what hero should i grab from the hero selection chest at christmas as a new player whatever hero you are building to e5 is the big one wow the russell is actually holding his own that is really interesting so see this is kind of the yes four seas is countering a lot but it's not like an end-all, be-all type thing. Like, you can still manage to get your Russells to live with A and Bs and things like that. But, I mean, if we did instead throw in our one Sword Flash, this would be an easy win. I'm just trying to do it without a Transcendence Hero overall.
I mean, you can see Russell is still, he's still alive and strong. It's not like the end all be all. This is no longer valid. I do think once people get two of them though, that's going to be a big difference. Yeah, we're going to lose to this Russell right here. His pings are just going to nuke us down. Yep. I mean, like right there. So you look at the lineups here. Four C's is made to counter Rogue and Russell. If you don't snipe the Russell with Imminent Doom, it really doesn't matter. And even right there, we hit Russell with the Imminent Doom, which will play back again. When's the next free-to-play episode? No clue. Couldn't tell you. We just recorded the other one, so it's probably going to be a little bit. Um, but yeah, so like things like that, when that happens, it's good. But again, Russell is still alive. If he is built with Void Enables, that's the big difference. My guess is this Russell right here is my guess is that he has the void enables, which is why he's so strong, which basically is the counter to Forces is an extremely strong Russell. I mean, we'll see if we can win this, but there's good chance we might not. Even with what we have left, that Russell could ping our entire team down. And you guys see, he's taking zero damage. He's probably like, okay, he died that time. <laughs> He died to the to the energy drain. But it's really interesting to see a Russell still popping off really, really big. Let's see if we can find some of the other top players. Hey, there's Reb. Reb, you haven't logged on in two days. What's going on, man? Ooh, Boz. Yeah, Boz is gone. Uh, Rising. Okay, let's take a look. Queen, Sherlock, Rogan, Russell. All right, let's give that a try. And maybe what happens is you just change to one Rogan instead of mass Rogan so you don't nuke your team down. That could be a thing. Does foe counter Ruda? Not really. Because she doesn't have any self buffs that count, I don't think. Look at all these people. We're trying to test without Transcendence Heroes, and then all we're fighting is Transcendence. I don't know why I'm doing it. I don't know why. How do I log in with Prime? And make sure you link up your Twitch account with your Amazon Prime account. And uh, then you'll be able to hit the sub button for free, essentially. So this is a cool example of uh, speed meaning everything. Adding in one Rogan means all the heroes over there will go before these, which is a huge difference. No energy feed on. Uh, we're going to try that. We're going to try that next with some Rogans. But I wanted to see how we could do it as more of a regular lineup before going into the full on big pay to win. Actually, you know what? Let's try that now. That's kind of a good idea. We'll use... We'll use our own Rogans for energy feed and see how that works out. So we'll use the first two. I think what I want to do over here is move this over to... Actually, we could try the Magic Stone Sword on him again. The thing is, we just need to make sure that the Rogans are going to go before you. So let's see. Rogans are going to get what? Let me take a look. I'm clicking everywhere. So the Rogans are going to get... 20, 40, 60, 80 speed versus 40. So we need to be within 40 speed of you, which we are. So we can use those two Rogans. Uh, so I think they're both glittery, right? So there's a good chance. There's a good chance we should get energy feed to him. So that's good. Let's try something different. Let's do that. Let's try versus. Who do I want to fight? Who do I want to fight? Let's try this one again right here. So what we could do instead is toss in a couple of our own Rogans here and then throw in like one carry as well. The second one is slower. Oh, good call. I did not see that. Second one is slower. Ooh, yeah, we need we need 10 speed here. Uh Oh, hmm. OK, so we got to change one enable then, I guess. We're going to have to change one of these back over to that to make sure he's fast enough. Good call. Good catch. I did not even see that that one was slower. Didn't realize the stone was different. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, let's throw in our own couple of rogues and see how energy feeding actually works, especially with our carry as well. Uh, and we're going to keep the energy box pet as well. So problem is we just got to make sure our rogans are going to go first there we go we got the energy feed there with a better magic stone sword style artifact we get a couple of actives maybe come on sherlock i need some doves 
There we go. That's what I like to see. Duck. No, I don't like seeing my shoulder get dove by Sherlock. Oh no, this Sherlock's winning the uh, the doving war here. Oh no, we're so dead. They're all doved except the Rogans. <laughs> this is horrible. Yep. So I mean, energy feed can be a thing. Maybe if we weren't fighting someone that had like a queen or something, but we could fight more average teams. All right, so we got the imminent doom marks out. Kind of nukes them down pretty good. That that was a big difference. <laughs> that was a huge difference right there. Not going against the transcendence, but what artifacts do the locks have? One of them has a uh, splendid Rui. The other one has a splendid crown on it. Let's find like one more to try this with. We'll go against, yeah, we'll go against this one right here. Give it a try. Literally, I mean, splendid uh, demon bells are just crazy. The energy feed is the epitome of end game PvP, so. Yeah, that's, I mean, the second you start doing the energy feed, it really becomes a different battle here. Um, who's the other one? Actually, Jay-Z. Where's Jay-Z? Go against that one again. This one has transcendence. Let's see what happens. And there we go. We got an active round one on the forces. We got three of those there. The second Russell goes in the air, he's probably going to nuke himself. But if I remember, was Jay-Z the one that had the superpower? No, I don't think he had a superpowered Russell. Nope. Vortex check for, with forces. Uh, we'll do that probably another day. Uh, yeah, the queen is just kicking our butt right here. But Sherlock can, you know, why is it that our Sherlock's are always getting doved, but theirs are never getting doved? This feels so bad. This feels so bad. Yeah, I think like when it comes to end game, you are going to need your transcendence hero still. I don't think this hero makes it so that you can completely counter like other teams that have transcendence heroes. It'd be closer. Maybe like in this situation where we do have imminent doom on the queen. I do think having two forces is going to make forces infinitely better against teams like this because you're going to have a higher chance to make sure Imminent Doom is on the targets you want it on. We need some really good doves here. Come on, let's dove the... Yeah, there we go. This is, this is what we want to see from a Sherlock squad right here. Honestly, I'd be tempted to run three Sherlocks on a team like this. <laughs> I don't know why. I just feel like I would much rather because we're going to have to go to the end rounds here. Oh, no, that's scary. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, swaps, swaps left and right. Here they come. Oh, he's in the air. We're dead. <laughs> We're dead now. <laughs> yep, no way a Sherlock lives through that. Maybe an A and B Sherlock is going to make a comeback. You never know. Hopefully, come on, Carrie, don't die. Oh, Carrie's dead. All right. But it's like these weird lineups that are going to start making a comeback. But overall, I mean, four C's, it depends on exactly how you're building him, how he's going to perform. I do think void imprints are 100% necessary he is a very squishy hero, but overall, I, I think for the end game, he's going to be extremely, extremely strong.